The National League of Cities is the country's oldest and largest uh, organization that advocates on behalf of mayors in, in the city. So we represent the 49 state municipal leagues uh, and have since the, the 1920s, and we also have about three or 4,000 direct members. Data collection and, and performance management, I think, is a really fundamental piece to, to doing the job that city leaders ultimately care about, which is delivering services uh, to youth and families uh, and to their, their residents more generally. Um, city leaders certainly know they're on the hook and they're accountable for the safety of their neighborhoods, uh, the health of their citizens, for, for everybody raised within the city uh, having uh, an opportunity for a solid career uh, and a good education. Um, making that happen requires stitching together a tremendous number of resources over which they uh, don't always have total control. So it's a tremendous challenge and the only way um, you know, as a mayor you can meet that challenge, I think as, as a city leader you can engage that challenge is through being really smart about uh, both setting clear uh, targets for which you and the community can agree to be accountable and then creating the information systems by which you can measure progress towards those goals in this budgetary environment. I think the need for evidence that you're being successful um, and for being smart about, about the way that you allocate resources is really crucial and, and the way you pull that evidence together is through being strategic about the information you gather and the way that you deploy it. We're very excited about the work which is starting in Omaha now because I think of the communities we've seen, they've just been really laser focused on the results they wanted to achieve, identifying the members of the community uh, who needed to be a part of that decision making process, and then being really strategic about the systems they built out to support the work they wanted to do. So we're excited to see what happens in the next year or two. Uh, the first rule of management information systems is don't talk about management information systems. Nobody begins in this work, in this field, uh, because they care about technology or systems building. It's a, it's a necessary evil, right? What people care about when you're trying to convene uh, you know, that table of people in your community who can be influential uh, and have an impact in this area on the, on the communities that you care about are the results for youth and families. And so you know, begin and end with uh, the importance of all of these discussions being around the impact that you want to have on real people in your community. But what I'm excited about is getting to work closely with companies like InFocus, uh, with evaluators and communities like the Wallace Foundation's community um, to develop resources that coming out of the next two or three years, we feel like uh, we don't have to sort of create and architect these systems. And the type of peer exchange that happens is invaluable. Um, you can get a, a regional and sometimes a national perspective on, I won't say best practices, but at least promising and really interesting practices. Um, and you really build a personal relationship with people from communities that you are not going to bump into otherwise. So the opportunity to do this once a year with people um, uh, that you just share an absolute ton in common with and to reaffirm, I think, that you're all in this business for the right reasons.